January 14. It's uh, 5.53 a.m. We're going to make sausages. I've got turkey meat and I have fish. I'm going to use the Norpro number 151 meat grinder, pasta maker, sausage maker. I'm going to uh, use, I'm going to use 28 millimeter sausage casings. And I threw the package out, I forget the name of the, the, the company. So we're going to get going on that. We're going to put the Norpro number 151 together. I don't think we've gotten that on, on uh, film yet. So we're going to first put the Norpro together. You begin with the base, you want to make sure it's clean on the bottom. And you attach your hopper. Your hopper locks when you use the suction part of it. This will lock in. See, it just slides in right now, it'll come right out. When you activate the suction, it locks that in. So then you add your bushing. You don't want to forget your bushing. So the bushing goes on there like that. You place that in there. And then you attach your handle to keep it in place. And you want to make sure you're, you've got clearance for the handle. Okay, we're going to use, I'm going to grind some fish. I already ground the turkey. So I'm going to use the, uh, the small die. I use the large die to grind the turkey. I'm going to use this to grind the fish and then mix the fish with the turkey. And then I think we're going to use the large die again. So you have to, um, you have to add your blade. Your blades face outwards. They're going to face against the die. So the blades are facing the die. So you put that in it. It locks. It's got a key. It has a key arrangement there for you. And so does this. You attach this either side. Doesn't matter. And this is also keyed. So you want to make sure that goes in to the key. And then you put your retainer ring on. And I found it really has to be tight. Okay. Now like I said, that'll come off. And that'll come off. Until I put this down with suction. There. Now it's in there. Okay, so we're ready to do some work. I have some fish that has been marinating in uh, Jack Daniels um, barbecue sauce. I also use some on the sausage casings. The sausage casings have been sitting in there. I'm going to pour off that liquid. So we're just going to get our fish ground so we can mix it with the already ground turkey.
think if I use right here, I'm in half. This meat is ice cold. I'm pushing this fish through the small die. Okay, and there we have our ground fish. Okay, we're going to rinse out the uh, the meat grinder. It's got a lot of liquid stuck in there. It's kind of strained the fish. So we're going to remove it and take it to the sink. And all I did was dump out liquid. There's still some stuff there that'll get, it'll be pushed through with the turkey. This is turkey meat we had ground up. I ground the skin up with that. I figure it's sausage, it's going to need it. Rosemary and thyme. Okay, so we want to mix our fish with that. There's no salt. I do believe I put in some black pepper and I just a small dash of garlic powder. I'm adding the fish at the exact time I'm going to be making the sausage. I didn't want the fish and the turkey to uh, sit together and marinate. Okay, that's our sausage meat. I'm going to probably do this recipe again to make burgers or sliders. I've been wanting to try the slider recipe. I think these would make great sliders. And we have casings. These are 28 millimeter casings. I'll go search for the maker of those and write it in on the YouTube video. 
But, um, okay, here we go. I'm going to put a pizza pan down to try to get some uh, kind of flow going here. These were washed out previously. And there were a couple of knots. I had to untie a knot or two on two of them. And then I just had them soak. Oh, I've got to put on the sausage attachment. So we take the ring off. blade and the die in there so I think it should be done that way so we're going with small holes twenty eight millimeter I have to slide that on there They were difficult to wash to try to get these things to open up. Okay, there it is right there. You can't see it, but you know it's there. Okay. There, see? It's there, it's just very difficult. Here we go. And the sausage maker should do the rest. But I want to get a good hold on that. Okay. So in some go some meat. Maybe you shouldn't use the blade. Okay, we're going to remove the blade. And the die. blade in the die. Put this back on. There. It's on there tight. I think I'm going to need a third hand. not working. You have to make your sausage from whole meat. You can't pre-grind your meat. So, looks like I got hamburgers. Okay.
maybe if we go a little at a time. No, doesn't want to go. Okay. I'll have to freeze my casings. Well, it looks like I'm going to make burgers. Okay, he's going to go into the freezer. Okay, it's the end of that.